What's the matter with you? Or Or You're doing fine. Don't worry. It's okay. So of course we have our preferences. <laughs> I'd rather have a hug. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> and he says, how will it be? He says, you're free to hold fast, free to let go. And how will it be when you're not confined to being a host or guest? How many of us are in our lives always feeling confined to a role? We may not even realize it, but there's something in there that's like, uh, uh, I don't know if I'm wrong. Uh, I don't know if I can play the drums. But... Yes, you can. That's the answer. Right? I can. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, this now hopes, now guess, this freedom, this interchangeability is in all of us to practice zazen to really do this work this arriving at the freedom within what a wonderful way to live isn't it <laughs> Even a slight glimmer once in a great while, once in a kalpa, okay? That glimmer is the whole of it. Never think, oh, I had that little experience and now it's gone and I'm back to my old home. <laughs> it's changed you completely. You haven't caught up with it. And you keep coming back, honey. That's it. Right? What do they say? In the program. Keep, keep coming back. back. Keep coming back. That's it. Return to one is just another way of saying this. You are one. One in all, all in one. Keep coming back means right where you are. Be here, right here. So anyway, this monk is quite extraordinary. Asked, is there anything different from what you find here? He says, nothing different. That's the first test. Nothing different. This, as I read from the platform, Sutra, just this Buddha Dharma. From the south, from the north, people come. This Dharma is yes. Then Bhutu tests further. Oh, really? Nothing different? Hmm. If there's nothing different, why don't you go back there? Get lost. And that's the first step. Now, the monk comes back at him. 
your staff has eyes. This is such an interesting statement, isn't it? Your staff has eyes. Everything we touch has awareness. Eyes. Your staff is not just a piece of wood. Keenly attuned. And knows if this blow is warranted. Are you sure? Do you know who you are striking? So this monk is pretty amazing. Say that to Ukyu. Oh. And so what does Ukyu say? Today I have come across a monk. Such a great feeling. You come here. I meet you. You come into Doksan. We see each other. Each of us has eyes. Right? This is, this has eyes. Got mm. a real monk. He's worth my effort. So. Connecting, embodying. What does the monk do? I'm out of here. Turns to leave. And what? Oki says. Yeah. Okay, maybe those blows were unfair. Maybe your staff's eyes sees that these were unfair blows. But you know, somebody was still taking them. So the monk turns back, right? And he says, to my regret, the staff is in your hand. Yeah. You're the one. The staff. So, right into the dragon's cave. He goes, and Ukyu says, okay then, I'll turn it over to you. He, in turn, dares to lie down in the tiger's mouth, as Engel comments. And sure enough, grabs the staff. And it's Ukyu three times. And wow, what a beautiful interchange of guest and host. Host becomes guest, guest becomes host. The original interchange is right there. Engo puts it this way. In the end, the two merge together into one agent. One session of careful investigation. Well, then what? After receiving these three blows, what does Ukyu say? What? Better estimated them? No, he, he comes at him again with the same, uh, Earlier, he said, uh, 
unfair blows. Remember, he called after the monk and he said, hmm, unfair blows, but still there's somebody taking them. And now the tables turn. And now he has received the blows from the monk and he says, unfair blows, unfair blows. And this is very funny. <laughs> what do you think he's talking about? Is he talking about the fact that he struck the monk and it was his staff saying, no, no, that's unfair, it was too rash? Or is he talking about himself receiving these blows from the monk? And the monk then says, yo, there's someone taking them to whoop you. So you see that parallel here? They're, in, they're exchanging, exchanging their wonderfully humorous energy. This is completely playful and, of course, immensely vigorous. What happens next? After the monk says, still there's someone taking them to Upu. Upu says, oh, yeah, maybe I hit this guy too rashly. Then the monk this is quite a skillful maneuver where you see it's like jujitsu. Many of you know jujitsu. Instead of assaulting, right, you draw back and your opponent goes crashing down. This is each of them. Are you using Jiu-Jitsu moves? Poisonous wow. Engo says, the only one who doesn't flinch when faced with danger is a person of power. And Ruki acknowledges the monk's vow this move of the monk and says, Osho, is that how you take your leave? Which is the equivalent of the vow. Oh, is that how you take your leave? And then the monk laughed and went out. And look you ended this wonderful scene of giving and taking, freely being in this role, freely being in that role, saying, that's it, that's it. Or, what might you say? If you were looking for the monk at the end of this. Well played. Hmm? Well played. Well played. Or? Thank you. Thank you. Or? Nicely done. Nicely done. Or? Oh, again? Wow. <laughs> Indeed, two arrows meeting in mid-air. 
And Sancho's verse is basically a, an ad admiration for what has happened. First, he says, easy to call the snakes, hard to make them scatter. You know, snake charmers. We do this all the time in our zazen, getting caught up in all these fantasies. Here they come. <laughs> and now, okay, you can go now. I'm a good son. Please do. <laughs> to make them scatter. How splendidly they crossed swords, each holding this precious sword awakening. Right? Although the sea is deep, it can instantly evaporate. The copper stone is hard, but it can crumble away. Meaning that with clarity, with this kind of power that comes from insight, even the sea, even the depths of the sea can evaporate. And even that rock of ages can crumble away. What an impediment. Gone. Old, old Ukyu, Sechimu says. Old Ukyu, who can equal you? And then giving your stick to another. All that's who can equal you. Giving your stick to another. How unreasonable. Unreasonable. Not a matter of reason. Not a matter of ascertaining, oh, is this going to go well? Or will he be able to handle it? Or oh, I don't know if I can really trust this situation. No, just immediately. Here. Would you like it? Take it. If you have a staff. I will give it to you. And indeed, the snake had a staff. So, rare koan for us to consider in our own lives. And if you're walking around saying, I have no staff. Come on and visit me. 